Do you need some better photo editing apps? I'm Taylor Martin, this is Pocket Now, and these are the best photo editing apps for Android. With relatively impressive cameras fastened to the backside of our smartphones, we have a decent camera on our person at virtually all hours of every day. It's easy to get carried away with snapping photos of important life events, scenic places we may pass by, unusual sights, and of course food. But not every picture turns out exactly as you might want or expect. Sometimes you might want to add some effects to a picture to make it more dramatic or moving. Maybe the colors are off a bit, or the contrast is too low, or maybe you want that vintage effect. On Android, photo editing applications are a dime a dozen. There are literally hundreds, if not thousands, of photo editors, but there are a handful of photo editors that stand out from the rest. In September, Google bought Nick Software, the company behind the very popular iOS photo editor, Snapseed. In December, the iOS application was dropped from $4.99 to free, and the Android version was released to the Play Store. Ever since, it has easily been my choice photo editing application on both Android and iOS, and the one that I recommend to everyone else. On the surface, Snapseed may seem almost identical to the masses of standard photo editing applications, but its ease of use and the speed and ability to tweak almost any aspect of any photo or filter makes it one of the more robust and intuitive photo editors around. Editing a picture is as simple as sliding your finger up and down to choose from the different metrics and left and right to adjust the intensity. Almost every picture I take with my phone goes through Snapseed before I share it. The best part is Snapseed is entirely free. Also, recent updates to the Google Plus applications for iOS and Android have also implemented some of Snapseed's best features. Another photo editor that is packed to the brim with neat features is PixArt. It too is free, and basically it's another one of the dozens of photo editors with a ton of filters that are highly customizable. But it comes with the ability to add text to photos, draw on them, add stickers, and much more. On top of all that, PixArt is sort of a social network in itself, allowing users to upload edited photos directly to their PixArt account, not unlike Instagram. And from within the app, you can view other users' photos too. The photo editor I've been using longer than any other application on Android is Pixay Pro. It's definitely not the prettiest app. Its interface is reminiscent of Android 2.3, Gingerbread. But that doesn't take from the sheer functionality of Pixay. It offers everything from exposure, contrast, and saturation adjustment, to sharpening, red-eye fixing, and a wide array of filters. Like PixArt, it also allows the user to insert stickers, text, and frames to their photos. Pixay is generally my go-to application for adding text, annotating, except for when I'm using the Galaxy Note 2, and adding a big giant arrow to point to something in the picture. But using it most definitely requires the ability to appreciate function over form. Pixay comes in a free light version, and the premium version, which unlocks features such as full resolution export, costs $3.99. If none of these applications quite do it for you, there is another option. However, it does cost more than Pixay Pro. Photoshop Touch is essentially a lightweight version of the popular Adobe Photoshop application for computers. But make no mistake, it is easily the most adept and well-rounded photo editor on any mobile platform. And it's almost as intuitive and as fast as Snapseed. Almost. Photoshop Touch allows a user to use scribble selection to intelligently extract portions of images, layer photos, and export images up to 12 megapixels. It also includes its own set of filters, a wide array of selection tools, and other various tools for inserting text and applying different effects. Photoshop Touch for phone is $4.99, and separately, Photoshop Touch for tablets is $9.99. Keep in mind that Google has also added some much-needed editing features to the stock gallery application on Android. It now has built-in filters, frames, and sliders for sharpness, exposure, brightness, contrast, saturation, etc. There is also a hidden menu for the history of the edits made to the pictures for a quick backtracking process. This is accessed by a right-to-left gesture on the picture itself. This editor is quick and simple to use. Best of all, it's built-in and free. For most, the built-in editor will suit most of your needs. But if you're looking for more extensive editing, definitely check out the previously mentioned apps. That's all we've got for you now, so if you liked the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Also, follow us in all the usual places, Google+, Twitter, and Facebook, at Pocket Now. I'm Taylor Martin, and have a good weekend.